I'm worried. I'm beginning to get worried about this fight, fam. I've never seen Kell Brook in this kind of a shape before. Never, fam. He's always been out of shape. Kell Brook has always struggled to make weight. And the man is looking ripped. Looking ripped a whole month before the Terrence Crawford fight. I'm worried. I'm worried, fam. I'm, I'm beginning to get worried about this fight. And all that extra motivation. The fact that Eddie Hearn. The fact that Eddie Hearn abandoned that man. So not only does he want to shock the world. But he wants to prove Eddie Hearn wrong. So Kell Brook is coming into this fight with a lot of motivation. And I'm praying. I'm begging Bud not to overlook. I hope Bo Mack don't allow Bud to overlook Kell Brook in this fight. Because Kell Brook. When he's on the top of his game, we saw Kell Brook give Errol Spence hell. We saw Kell Brook go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gennady, Ganiyevich Golovkin. And Kell Brook was going upside of Errol heads. He was going upside of Errol's head, beating him upside his head until he lost his vision. He was giving Errol Spence the business. He was giving him that work, fam. He was on his way to beating Errol Spence. Before he lost his vision. So I hope Bud don't take this fight lightly. Um, Kell Brook is in phenomenal shape. He's training like a man possessed. He wants to prove Eddie Hearn wrong. He wants to prove that Eddie Hearn was wrong for abandoning him. He wants to take Bud's title. The man wants to make another name off of Bud's name. So Bud got to come in this fight prepared, man. I don't, wanna, I don't want him to catch Bud slipping. I don't want that to happen. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the phenomenal shape that Kell Brook is in. Going into this fight with Terrence Crawford. Drop me your comments, hit that like button, and subscribe. I'm out.